Hi everybody, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. This is Empress of Energy and I am ready to do a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So place Virgo on your birth chart any way you like and cross watchers, welcome as always. So we'll jump in, I'm just going to do a current energy check, so let's see what comes out for you Virgo. I do see you, um, either you're watching someone, I feel, or someone's watching you, take it as it resonates. Someone's definitely watching someone. Keep an eye, keep an eye on them, keeping tabs on them, seeing what they're up to. I do feel like it's you that's doing that though. For whatever reason, I'm sure we will find out. Oops. <laughs> Sorry guys. Those knobs, do I have to shuffle? There we go. <laughs> Let's get current messages for Virgo, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So hi, if you're new, welcome to the channel. It is a brand new channel, not brand new to Tarot, just brand new to YouTube. So please do like and subscribe. You know, like the video or subscribe to the channel if these messages are for you. It would be impossible to connect with every Virgo in the world. So take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. Um, uh, let's go. So the energy that I'll be reading is either yours or someone that you connected to energetically. So flip the rules as you see fit. Oh. I feel right to pop out then. Tell me about Virgo's energy, please, Spirit. Current energy for Virgo. Some moon rising and Venus. So we've got the Six of Swords. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Love that. <clears throat> so we're moving forward. We're moving forward into Karma Waters. Something could have a little bit been a little bit disruptive at the moment, your environment. Something could have been, but we're moving forward. We've, we're sailing towards peace, but there's also a brand new passionate beginning. When that sailing motion, when that forward motion starts, we're heading, we're definitely heading in the right direction anyway. Move our goals, energy, please, spirit. So move as in. Oh, shh. Oh, right, okay, didn't expect that. Ten of Swords. Did not expect that. We'll find out more when we clarify, but this is a painful ending. Betrayal. Someone feeling betrayed. You betraying somebody. <clears throat> Ten stars in the back, you know, it's heavy, heavy that. It's not nice energy. Tell me more, please. So this could be how you're feeling, or this is how someone's feeling that you're connected to, Virgo. I feel like there's an energy of trying to move forward to a new beginning, but there's still a, you know, there's still a feeling of being betrayed by something. Not that many, too many spirit. Tell me more about Virgo's energy, please. I do wait for your energy to bring a card out for me. I don't just deal from the decks. Thank you. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. So that's your energy. Yeah, I feel like you could have been the one. Maybe. Hang on, let's get one more. Thank you. Right, the Six of Cups. Okay. Okay, so these... The Six of Swords energy, that's sailing into calmer waters, moving forward into calmer waters, leaving something that's been a little bit rocky behind. This could also be travelling, you know. Someone could also be going travelling. But there's a passionate new beginning. So you're travelling, you're moving towards something passionate, a new beginning, a blessing with the Ace of Wands. It's a yes card. It's something new, something, something uh, creative. Some, You know, there could be someone proposing something, some kind of idea, something new, something exciting, passionate, fiery. And then we've got the Ten of Swords, which is a painful ending. We'll find out more when we clarify. So something, this could have already been, you know, I could have already completed. Time is fluid in tarot. You know, the past is anything from a minute ago and beyond, and prior, future is in a minute and, and beyond. 
So the current energy is the complete fluid, you know, the fluid in between them two. So you could either be, this could have already happened, this painful ending, this ten of swords in, in the back. This, but I feel like you're going to be communicating about it, whatever this is. If you've caused this, I feel like you're going to try and fix it because this could definitely be an ex or someone from the past with the six of cups. And I feel like it's you that's doing this rushing with the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, that's Earth energy, I've Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's no gender in tarot. But I feel like someone's very focused on something right now. And you're feeling the need to communicate that. The Knight bringing things in. And again, it's bringing a wand, it's bringing in something passionate. So you could be, you could, you could be wanting to start something again. You could have some kind of passionate new idea in order to start something again with someone from the past. There's already been some kind of rejection, but someone's, I think, someone's already rejected something or some someone and I feel like someone may have already rejected you or something from you and you're but you're still holding on to it whatever that is but I feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith you're ready to take a risk by offering something by proposing something new on how to move forward on how to move past something that's what I'm getting so please make sure you let me know if this story is yours like the video subscribe to the channel Let's clarify. Let's clarify these cards for Virgo, please, Spirit. Common energy. Interesting one, though. But I feel like you're the one that's going to be doing the communicating. You're the one that's going to be rushing in with, you know, the knights bring messages, the deliverers of things. And this is someone, again, bringing something passionate. A mess, something passionate. Something being said passionately. Let's clarify these cards, Virgo, energy, please. Yeah, so if you've already, I feel, I'm feeling like there's possibly something or somebody that you've already possibly put an end to or blocked off, but you now want to build on that. You now possibly want to work on that. Kind of like you found a solution and you want to, you definitely want to communicate that. And it's to find peace. I'll tell you about the six of swords, please. I'll tell you about the six of swords. You could be going travelling and finding something new there. Oh my God, for one person. <laughs> this could be for one Virgo, but if anyone's going on holiday or going travelling or, you know, possibly ashores, I want to say, overseas, um, you could meet someone there. And if you're in a relationship, you could definitely be meeting someone there. And that could be what the betrayal is. That is obviously not going to be for everybody, so that could just be for one mess, one person. Or, or this has already happened, <laughs> whichever one. There's been passionate messages going to and from, if that's the case. But yeah, this is only a general reading, don't forget, not a personal one. For personal readings, uh, check the description. So I've got the Six of Swords energy, please. In Virgo, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. With Virgo's energy. Right, okay, yeah, the two of stars. One more, please. You might be trying. If there's an oldie romance, I feel like there could be an oldie romance or something like, and you're really trying to block this off. That's not going to be for everyone, though, as I say. But there is something that you, you're blocking off, if you haven't already, with the two of stars. You've come to a crossroads, you know, it was kind of like, I've got a you know, enough's enough is what I'm feeling. This could have this could be something to do with children. We have got mother and child energy with the page of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. This could be mother and child or parent and child, no gender, as I say. Doesn't have to be though, but this could also be someone a lot younger or if not in actual age, it could be immaturity. So you've had to block this off. This is what we're sailing away from. Give me one more. Oh my god, the ten of swords again. Oh my 
my god right okay you could be someone could be feeling betrayed by a child here and you've chose to just cut it off cut it cut it out for now in order to gain peace it doesn't have to be a child the page can represent like i say someone younger but it's somebody that's still trying to communicate i feel or some, someone that i'm feeling like possibly didn't do much for you within something this could be to do with work take it as it resonates or family you know but there's somebody that you've had to block off because they didn't do much like you're a, you know you're a queen and there's a page over here so you know we're there's a little bit of a difference as far as levels, whether it's maturity. I feel like in this case, possibly it could be monetary value wise. Or within, you know, something to do with stability. Someone wasn't putting enough into the home, into the, into the joint bank account, maybe. Mm, there's definitely been an ending, wow. It wasn't equal give and take here. With whatever this was if this is a work environment someone was putting more in than the other so someone's decided to walk away something's ended and they're quite painful there so about the ace of wands please this is a passionately beginning so you know but we've got ten of swords before and after this what is this ace of wands Ooh, what's this ace of wands please Wow, the Ace of Swords. And the Three of Swords wanted to come out and I put it back. Um, this is like... So I'm feeling like this Ace of Wands was... Someone started some... Someone literally could have cheated on someone whilst they was away working on something. There's been some kind of passionate new beginning that someone has to be honest about. And this could definitely be you. But it doesn't have to be. Whoever that is, though, I feel like they're going to do it. They're going to bring the Ace of Swords to this situation. They're going to bring in this honesty. Because if this wants to start again, I feel like there is potential of that. Oh, my. I did want to limit these readings to about 15 minutes. But, wow, this is a bit... Oh, my God, are you joking? Oh, my God, we've got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. Oh, my good Lord. Right, okay, so someone could have cheated on someone a lot. But they still love you. Like, I don't, you know, this could be for one person, but I am going to point it out. Someone could have cheated on someone with multiple people, telling them different things, promising them different things. Someone borderline could have been living a completely different life, if not more than more than just separate to you it could have been more than that but that doesn't have to be but for you you know for you virgo these are i feel like someone's someone's emotions are going to be expressed someone's truth yeah i feel like someone's going to come and defend themselves someone's going to come and defend themselves about whatever this is and if this is you you're about to start defending yourself Again, this could be more than one person involved in this. Wow, what on earth is this, Virgo? Tell me about this Ten of Swords, please. What's this Ten of Swords? Well, this is a painful ending or betrayal, you know. Oh, the Six of Cups. Someone could have gone back to an ex. Oh my God, definitely whilst travelling. Honestly, if someone could definitely have been, could someone could have cheated on someone on holiday or whilst travelling, could have been with an ex. But as well, like one of, for one of you, for one particular Virgo watching this and who it's resonating with, one of you was think, you know, you know that bullshit of where they say, oh, I, I just didn't think. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. 
Give me one more. Wow. God, it's because someone's cheated. Someone's cheating or someone's cheated. Possibly several times. Someone could work away. Someone could work away for a living. And that's going on there. Wow, what a reading, man. I kind of don't want to post this, but I'm going to. I feel like you are going to get the clarity that you're looking for, though, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I feel like you're going to, you're going to get past this. Whoever, honestly, I don't even know who's done it, because this could fine well be you. If it's not, like, cheating, because, you know, that's not going to apply to everybody, but someone's been... Someone caused, someone, even though there's emotion involved with, like someone cared about somebody and even though they've been a bit of a dick, is what I want to say. Please mind my language. But um, like the King of Wands, he can be a little bit arrogant, you know, and it's like, what I want to say is someone, arrogant, someone, was, someone was far too much in their ego. Far too much in their ego thinking they could move forward without something or somebody. What a crazy reading. But clarity's coming in any scenario, whichever one applies to you. Tell me about this night of ones, please. But this is, and I feel like this is you coming in fast. You're going in fast, someone. Okay, we've got the magician. So this has been manifested as above, so below. You know, whatever we're speaking to the universe, it becomes a manifestation. So, you know, if, we, if we're always negatively speaking, then, then, then you know, it manifests. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> the five of cups come out then, yeah. So we could, some, some of us could be living in our past too much and we are manifesting. There's something in the past that's happened which caused emotions to spill. But if you took the time to, you know, to turn around, there are cups full of emotion and full of love available. Um, but there's, there's regrets, there's sadness. And unfortunately... I, I wanted to say unfortunately that they're becoming manifestations, the, you know, the negative thinking behind that. But that's not going to be for everybody. For others, we are manifesting someone coming towards us. Oh my God, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're rushing. This is you again, though. These two Knights are going in the same direction. And this is you that's setting them off. So this is you sending these messages. This is you. I feel like you realise it. You're completely realising what you've done. I feel like this. you could be the cause of a Virgo. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm so sorry if, if you're not. But I feel like the energy that I'm connecting to, you could be the causer of this. But, you know, flip it by all means. But whoever is in this energy that I am kind of blaming, if you like, they're about to come rushing in with honesty, with passion, with a new way to start again, is what I want to say. Because there's too many fond memories of the past. There's too many caring fond memories of the past. Yeah, someone's about to communicate the fact that they regret some stuff. Maybe some... I feel like someone could have also been wishing bad upon somebody and someone is about to express the regret to that. Again, this I feel like this is you, but take it as it resonates. You know, you never get away with that kind of stuff. Whether this is you, Virgo, or, or, or a cross-watcher, you never, you never get away with wishing someone... wishing bad upon somebody. It might happen, don't get me wrong. It absolutely might happen, but it will come back and bite you on the ass. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please. And I feel like that's kind of what's happened here. That's what I, that's what I feel like's happened. Someone's been a bit smug, been a bit in their ego, thinking, yeah, well, whatever, that's fine. If you've done that. No. Yeah, I've... You know, do you know what I mean? You want to go, go. I've done this. I am who I am. And now, it's like, oh shit. 
you won't do well without me kind of energy is what I'm getting. But now that's, I feel like someone's coming to the realisation that that's not actually the case. I really hope this is making sense because I feel like I'm on a rant. <laughs> I feel like I'm telling you off. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please. And I did want a shorter reading, but I don't, I don't choose what comes out. Right, okay. Yeah, you want to reconcile this. You want to fix this. You want to bring clarity to this. You want to bring happiness back. You could be dealing with a Leo. I'll take them both. We've got the sun. That's lovely energy. So, and reconciliation. So you want this, Virgo. This is with your card, your energy. Oh, sh Right, okay. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So... Do you not trust? Someone might not trust you. Someone might not believe what you're saying. Okay? Someone might not believe what you're offering on how you're proposing to move forward. Someone might not believe it. But I feel like your intentions are pure. But they might not necessarily believe that. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. But there is... You want reconciliation. You want happiness. You want clarity. Six of Cups, yeah, you know someone's worth now, is what I'm getting. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, you're remembering how good someone was, how well, how good looking, how, even like how, you know. The Nine of Pentacles, I see it as someone who just completely works on themselves, you know, they're very self-focused and you're somehow reminding yourself, remembering that someone is, you know, they do they do well. That's what, what I say. Someone does do well. And that's what you're reminding yourself of. The page of wands. This could be a child, most definitely. You could have children with this person. This could definitely be someone younger than you. I feel like you also are reminding yourself that this person is younger, maybe. And to have patience with, with a temperance card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This all makes sense to me as I'm saying it. So I hope it makes sense to you hearing it. So there is, you remind, you're having some kind of mem memory or you're reminding yourself that you need to have patience with this younger energy because you do value them is what you're reminding yourself. There's also healing of this situation with the temperance card. We do have to have strength with something, Virgo. Maybe it is to, get, to heal this because temperance does, you know, it's healing. It's, I feel like you want to dip the toe in the water but remain grounded at the same time so it's like softly softly i mean that's that's not what we're getting here because i'm getting you rushing in you know quite fast and quite passionately but we also know down here that we do have to have patience we do have to temper to this situation because this is heavy you know ten of swords twice <clears throat> Ten of swords twice. That's either something excruciatingly painful that's come to an end or that is major betrayal. One of the two. You know, take it as it resonates, but that's what I've got for you. And my goodness me, what a reading. Thank you so much, Virgo. Please do subscribe, like the video, let me know if this resonated. Um, see you again next time.